Dave and Jeff, how long have you guys been sober? So different answers for both of us. Uh, for me, it's two and a half years. Uh, February 5th, 1999. So about 21 years and change. So you're <clears throat> definitely at very different levels of where you're at in that process. Um, do both of you use a program? Are you both involved in a program? I am, yeah. And Dave, uh, Dave was largely responsible for getting me to uh, try a program. Um, we tried a couple before I got to the one that I'm on now, but, um, but yeah. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about what, what programs are out there? Because I know, I mean, obviously there are the, the big, you know, NA, AA, Al-Anon, Al-Team, but um, Dave and Shelby were telling me about a lot of programs that I had never heard of before. Um, do you want, want to go through what some of, some of the options are? And, you know, I know, Jeff, you spoke a little bit too about having, trying a few alternative methods. Um, yeah. You guys want to talk on that a little bit? Sure, yeah. Um, should we start with the big two? Because they're kind of, or, or should we end up there? What's and, the and, and I also want to say that you don't have to just pick one. No, 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 no. Yeah, like they all kind of can complement each other. Absolutely. Yeah, everybody's heard of AA and NA 12-step programs um, that are literally everywhere. One of the great benefits is every city and every town in every country you will go to, you'll be able to find a 12-step meeting of one sort or another. There are something like 14 or 15 million recovering people that are actively engaged in, in those processes. Mm -hmm. um, they're free. Um, they're fantastic. There are also... Uh, refuge recovery, which is like a Zen Buddhist way, and also Dharma recovery, they're kind of parallel, um, a Zen Buddhist recovery method. Um, celibate recovery is like a very Christian, which I'm not a religious guy, but some people are, and that's fantastic for them. Um, smart recovery is, is relatively new. Last couple of years, it's starting to gain some traction. It's a more science-based cognitive behavioral because AA has like a, a spiritual bent to it. And if you're just more of a scientist or an atheist or agnostic, smart might be the way to go. Not a ton of meetings, but it's, it's getting there. Um, yeah. yeah. What am I, I tried say? that one. If you remember, Dave, I, I mm -hmm. was, uh, you know, I was one of those people. I very much did not want to go to NA or AA. I resented the cliches that people threw around. I resented, sure. uh, you know, the, the, the religious side of it, I resented the claims of how effective it was. It works if you work at that kind of stuff, all, all that kind of stuff. I, I really resisted it. And so it was like, try everything else first. And of course I had tried some NA and AA just to be able to be like, I hate it. You know what I mean? Like I just want to work for me. As long as I could say it doesn't work for me, then I don't have to worry about the fact that there is something that could help me get sober and I could the keep- The room's full of people that were sober. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. Right, like if I admitted that that could work for me, then why, why am I not getting sober was sort of my journey into it. And- um, It's really well put. So I went to Smart and, um, and I, I will say like Smart had some great stuff, uh, you know, a, a lot of good stuff about breaking cycles of shame and stuff like that, which um, big part of not getting sober can be the shame over being an addict at all is so shameful that it's really hard to talk about. You don't want to open up to anybody um, and stuff like that. There was also some like, they do a lot of uh, acronyms, you know, like SMART, <laughs> um, but ways that you can remember, like you have to watch out if you get hungry, you know, halt the hungry, angry, lonely, tired. And there's, there's all kinds of stuff like that about breaking behavior patterns. And mnemonics and yeah, yeah, just good stuff to hang on to throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately though, like Dave said, uh, much harder to find a meeting. Um, you can't just decide at noon on a Tuesday that you need to go to a smart meeting and just find one within 10 blocks of you, like AA and NA, which is a huge, huge benefit. Especially if you're a touring musician or a touring crew right. member, just right. being able to get any, I mean, within blocks of any venue you're in, in the entire country and the world, you will find something. I've done tours where I found, I found a, a meeting in every single city. Yeah. Um, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Which is hugely reassuring. 